Beyonce on track to make history with $2 billion Renaissance tour, Beyonce could reportedly net over $2 billion from her forthcoming Renaissance World Tour, which would make it the highest-grossing tour in history. According to Forbes, Queen Bey's 10-figure projection could potentially come through two main areas, ticket sales and merchandise. In terms of gross ticket sales, $751 million and $2.4 billion are the low and high estimations based on average ticket prices from 52 shows, with Merchandise, $171 million is the figure she could generate based off of 300,000 items being sold at an average price of $100. Assuming she keeps 80% of merchandise revenue, Beyoncé would earn around $136. 8 million. Even if her ticket revenue lands somewhere in the middle of the projections, Mrs. Carter would have the highest-grossing tour of all time, by a wide margin. That record currently belongs to Elton John whose farewell Yellow Brick Road pulled in a staggering $853 million from 293 concerts between 2018 and 2023. Taylor Swift's era's tour, which kicked off in March, is also expected to make a big splash this year with projected earnings of around $1.6 billion, per Forbes, Bay's last tour, 2018's On the Run 2 with husband Jay-Z, netted a reported $254 million in gross revenue. The singer's renaissance tour starts on May 10 in Sweden, with the North American leg beginning on July 8 in Toronto. From there, she'll swing through cities such as Philadelphia, Chicago, Atlanta, Los Angeles and her hometown of Houston. Meanwhile, Beyoncé recently filed a petition in U.S. tax court, seeking a redetermination of her tax liability assessed by the IRS for the years 2018 and 2019. An additional $805,850 in taxes and $161,170 in penalties were assessed to the 41-year-old in 2018, according to the notice dated on January 18. For 2019, the Bureau also determined that $1,442,747 in additional taxes and $288,549.40 in penalties were due as well as charging interest for both years. As part of her suit, Beyoncé alleged that the IRS miscalculated by disallowing millions of dollars of taxes, depreciation, management fees, utilities, and other deductions. According to the Grammy winner, $868,766 attributable to a charitable contribution carryover reported in 2018 should be disallowed. The petition further stated, on information and belief, Respondent erred in determining that qualified business income deductions of $3,581 reported in 2018 and $14 reported in 2019 should be disallowed. Beyoncé also argued that the IRS was incorrect when it found she failed to report $1,449 in royalty income for 2018.